What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in today's video, I thought we would go ahead and recap uh, the first run of the Doom Tower since it is coming to an end. Um, I think tomorrow is the last day for it, but I'm pretty much done. Um, I thought I would go ahead and kind of take a look at it so I get my cat off my desk. <laughs> She's always getting in the way here. Um, but I uh, thought I would just kind of look at it, give my thoughts and opinions on this first run that we've had for the last four weeks, kind of go over the content, give my final thoughts on it, and kind of, I guess, start to look forward to the next Doom Tower that will launch here in a couple of days. Uh, I did wind up dabbling a little bit in the hard Doom Tower. I only got to floor number five, uh, and these runs were taking like five to seven minutes, so I just kind of gave up. It wasn't really uh, very enjoyable to attempt all that quite yet. Um, we did manage to make it all the way to floor 100. Uh, if I take a look at my clan, I believe, yeah, I'm in the top top five here, but a lot of us kind of got stalled out on this floor 100. A couple of people finished the whole thing here. Managed to do seven secret rooms um, on this run, but I just simply cannot get past uh, this level 170 uh, Scarab King. He is just giving me all kinds of problems. Uh, which is something I'll touch on here in a minute when we kind of talk about the boss encounters in this game uh, and just in the Doom Tower in general. But um, I have to say, you know, I enjoyed the Doom Tower, but there's a few things kind of keeping me from going into it like 110%. It's just mainly the silver cost of having to re regear uh, some of your champions to use, especially for these boss fights where you need specific champions with specific mechanics uh, like shielding or decrease enemy max HP. Uh, you may have to throw a destroy set on someone, uh, which destroy was a set no one was using and now all of a sudden we need it for the Doom Tower. So swapping artifacts, then having to rebuild artifacts, it gets very expensive. And as a player who's not quite at the point yet where I can do like 30 second or one minute spider runs to build up a bunch of silver, you know, it takes me a couple hours every night if I'm focused on it, running spider and just selling everything. I can maybe get, you know, four or five million silver, which then, of course, is quickly blown leveling up artifacts. So um, I'm mainly gearing my champions right now for arena and also for uh, trying to get through um, level 20 dungeons. I'm up to like, I think, spider 19 now and I've done dragon 20. And I'm just kind of working on trying to finish those dungeons to the point I can start farming up some good six star gear. And I honestly just don't have the silver to come in and regear my champs every time I get to a new boss encounter uh, in the Doom Tower. So we kind of stalled out on floor 100. And if you see here, you can see here it's basically three weeks, four days. Um, there were some times I didn't play Doom Tower for a day or two. You know, I just didn't care about it. It got to the point where I was like, um, I think it was this. The Magma Dragon, I was just coming in here and doing my 10 auto battles on him just to get the materials to make the uh, 4 and 5 star gear because I just kind of got tired of it. I got tired of shifting champions around. Um, I got stuck around the mid 80s for a little while and then when I got Scylla the Drake's built, she really helped me progress up to the rest of this. Uh, Nether Spider really was not too bad the second time we fought her. Uh, you just kind of have to know the mechanics of the fight, save your nukes for the little spider babies. Um, so she wasn't too bad. but. You know, I think the bosses in general maybe need a couple of tweaks here and there. Um, quite honestly, the, the Frost Spider was pretty easy. Uh, the only thing there is you gotta have the HP burn on her when she dies so she doesn't revive herself. Magma Dragon, I don't know how he is in the Hard Doom Tower, but in the normal tower, he is kind of a joke. Um, it says you, you, know, you need to have Provoke on him or he wipes your team, but even the level 100 guy here was was is pretty easy. I, you know, I think I had one character with Provoke, uh, with Caden, and we just, you know, nuked him down pretty quickly. He wasn't really too bad. Um, Nether Spider for me is the hardest boss, just mechanic-wise. You have to kind of have a decent team for it. You have to have a nuke ready to go uh, when the little baby spiders come out. Got to have a way to cleanse the poisons. Uh, so I kind of like this boss fight. It, it makes you think a little bit. I some people are actually calling for her to be buffed a little bit but i hope if they do that it stays in the hard tower because a lot of the end players are complaining that doom tower was too easy for them so i'm like if you're gonna buff anything keep it in the in the hard tower because those of us that are you know mid game trying to get through normal tower we're, we're, we're doing okay we're, we're, we're having to deal with the boss mechanics just fine so we don't need any buffs on these bosses here especially this guy right here this this is an interesting boss the scrab king because if you have the right champion for this 
or the right gear, this boss fight is kind of a joke. But if you don't, you're going to get stuck on this guy. And basically what I've been seeing from the, some of the people in my clan and then also just seeing some of the higher end players, the way they're beating this guy and most of the other bosses is they're just not letting the boss ever have a turn. Which is kind of a stupid mechanic if you ask me. So basically the way to get through Doom Tower is to make sure you have like god mode speed on all of your characters so they can go first. And that's basically what people are doing to beat this guy is they're, they're going first, they're getting their turn meter reduction. Uh, champions in there and they're never letting the boss take a turn so that's not really dealing with boss mechanics that's kind of just completely avoiding the boss mechanics and i guess that's what a lot of people are doing uh, on most of these boss fights especially in the hard doom tower but me being a mid game player i'm not quite at that stage yet where i have the gear uh, to deal with that so personally i think they're going to have to do something about the scarab king's mechanics I'm not sure what, but I just know a lot of people are having trouble getting past him because if you don't have the specific champions and you don't have the specific gear with the speed numbers to get by him, he's pretty tough. So that's kind of my thoughts on the bosses. Overall, though, I kind of enjoyed it. I enjoyed the spider fights. They were pretty mechanically intensive and, and you just kind of have to pay attention and manual it a little bit, which that may be a, something a lot of people aren't used to is having to manual things in this game, but you definitely have to manual uh, Nether Spider unless you just have some crazy nuke team that goes in and like three hits her, but I don't have that either. <laughs> uh, and then Magma Dragon is, is pretty easy, so kind of decent mix, but I just think the Scarab King is going to need a bit of a look because when you come down to him all the way down here, like he's really easy to beat in the lower levels of the tower, but when you get all the way up to the top, he's a little bit more difficult so uh, that's kind of my thoughts on the first run here now I'm not sure if these bosses are gonna change I think uh, there was an interview I saw with one of the Plarium community managers and I think they said it's gonna be the Doom Tower is gonna be pretty much identical uh, for the next two runs and I think sometime in March they said they're gonna start bringing in some of the newer bosses uh, and maybe changing up some things so we'll kind of see they said they're gonna let it run for a little while and then decide what they need to tweak on it and they said something about a bunch of free-to-play players beat the hard tower, which I just, I don't believe that for an instant. You know, it's the same data they're pulling that says no one liked the battle pass, so I don't I don't agree with that at all. Uh, the secret rooms are something else that I'm, I'm going to be interested to see if those change, because we were able to do seven of them. Uh, there's 12 in each tower, and they drop the fragments from these champions that are basically tied into the Doom Tower. Let me go out and we'll take a look at that real quick. So let's see, we've got our fragment summons. So you've got these guys here. So we've got 21 shards of Archmage Helmet. Basically three shards for every secret room. So you gotta think that took us an entire month. So at this pace, you know, obviously we're hoping to improve um, and do more secret rooms next time. It's gonna take us five months to get one champion out of the Doom Tower champions. So Personally, I feel like they need to adjust the number of shards that drop. Maybe you get five per room or six per room because I feel like at this rate, really, other than the top level players who ain't even them, if they're clearing all 12 secret rooms, they're only getting 36 shards a run. So it's going to take them at minimum, basically, three full runs of Doom Tower, which is three months, to get one of those champions. And I think that's a little ridiculous too because you can't pull these guys from shards. So we're not really going to know if any of these champions are good for at least three months. Now you can look at their kits and kind of determine, yeah, they're, you know, they may be decent, but um, a lot of these champions are just going to take a while uh, for people to get. And then the, the other thing too is like, I don't know, are they going to rotate which shards are available in each tower? Like when they go, you know, we had Archmage Helmet this time, but next time when it opens up in another couple weeks is it going to be or a couple days is it going to be Rian the conjurer because then that's going to make it even harder to get one champion right in a row if they do something like that so um i don't know i think they need to adjust the rewards a little bit just in general the rewards feel kind of lackluster i mean it's nice to get the chickens and the silver and the energy but if you're at a, if your account's at a level where you're able to progress pretty far in the normal doom tower you really don't need uh three star chickens and you know, most of the gear that's dropping. The best I've been able to craft so far out of um, normal has been four and five star, which is workable in some cases, but for most of us, we're not really looking for that at all. So 
like I said, overall Doom Tower is pretty cool. I don't know how much I'm going to focus on it going forward because there's a lot of stuff I'm trying to get done now in the regular game, like dungeons and clan boss, and obviously staying competitive in Arena. So, um, until Plarium does something about the silver grind in this game, I don't think Doom Tower is going to be very enticing content for a good portion of the player base. Because like I said, it's really difficult uh, to go in and just redo and re-gear your champions every um, every time you need to change something over for a boss fight or something like that. It's just going to be really difficult to do that. You know, kind of looking through my characters here for real quick. I want to see where, where is the newest. I'm trying to find the new legendary that we just... Uh, she's not in the vault because there's nobody in my vault. <laughs> Um, the new legendary fusion that we just had for Pixney on my miss there she is okay so I like I just got her I haven't even had a chance to really mess with her too much I've been trying to build up my Raza Scarhide a little bit here but some think that she's going to be useful in this Doom Tower coming up uh, just for some of the things that her kit does I'm not quite sure I'm going to try to build her out and see what she can do uh, but like I said that's the thing like it's just so difficult to change change up gear on champions but for this next run of the doom tower i do have a couple characters i've been working on we've been working on doom priest um getting getting some gear on her and getting her ready to go hopefully uh for this next doom tower but um i guess i'll go over some of the characters that really helped me out in doom tower obviously some of my top level uh ella Gaius was one of our mvps uh just for her kit where she hits um you know if they have the duplicate champions um, you know, she does a really good job against that. She's not even fully booked out. I just don't have the legendary books to put on her. Um, but yeah, puts all the skills on cooldown if they have duplicate champions. That's awesome in Faction Wars. It's amazing in Doom Tower. So if you're having trouble in normal Doom Tower and you have a Legias, you might want to take a look at building her up a little bit because, um, she can do that. I also noticed something creepy about her today. She actually has hands coming out of the bottom of her of her robes here so it's like almost like she has two arms hidden under here like that come out it's like she's goro from mortal kombat so i thought that was kind of weird i just noticed that today i was like wow that's kind of a cool design feature there <laughs> kind of interesting uh madam saris was also huge just for her kit again uh her ability to remove buffs uh, is, is excellent here miscreated monster just in general an awesome champion for a lot of stuff in this game i'm actually in the middle of re-gearing him so i kind of need to finish that up before I start Doom Tower again. Uh, we haven't quite finished with Septimus. I'm kind of in the process of trying to build him uh, into more of a nuke build, so he's not quite done yet. But hopefully if we can get him finished, he'll help us out in some of those boss fights. Uh, Syl of the Drakes, absolutely amazing legendary. She was basically what got me from the 80s up to floor 100 by herself. Um, in her relentless set here and her accuracy just she's just awesome she stuns people she does she does pretty good damage she revives just does a whole lot of stuff that's very helpful on your team uh raglan we were using quite a bit same thing with her just for her turn meter boosting and revive um and it doesn't have to be her either as a legendary you can come down here and apothecary uh this guy this guy does a lot of work too he's really good um in a lot of situations great for all the dungeons great for faction wars great for doom tower good in clan boss uh just kind of a jack of all trades character that's really good so he was certainly someone else that helped me out uh in doom tower uh war maiden was another one mainly for her decreased defense and she can also hit pretty hard when she's hitting her criticals I'm trying to think who else we used uh dark elaine is kind of an mvp for the frost spider because she basically makes that boss fight cakewalk if you have her um, she's able to just counter attack so many times basically lock down the little frost spiderlings the whole time there so she's pretty useful there Rosin scarhide also great character um, for using in the doom tower um, and also a fusion champion that you can get pretty i don't want to say easily but you can access him even as a free-to-play player so definitely a champion you want to kind of go after and he's good in the tower so um, I've got a Royal Guard I'm building up. I've got a Silar I'm building up as well. You know, I've got Skull Crown still here at 50. We've got a lot of champions that could help us out in this Doom Tower. We just haven't had a chance to really get them built up built up yet. Bellower 2 is another good one. Painkeeper. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff here that just working on gear and building them up more so for in-game dungeons and 
hopefully we can bring them over for the doom tower and it will help us out uh in this next run uh, but like i said it's kind of where we stand the doom tower is over with tomorrow uh if you had a chance to get to the top you know that, that's pretty cool unfortunately all you get is a void shard at the top i think it's a sacred on the hard tower so um you know i think that's gonna do it but um again we just got to this scarab king and couldn't quite get past him on floor 100 so we'll uh, reload and try again uh when the new doom tower launches we'll see if they mix up the boss fights a little bit see if they change any of the mechanics at all i'm not really expecting them to do any of that i think they're going to let it run through a couple times before they i guess get the data and take a look at it but good content in the game but it definitely has some roadblocks it definitely has some issues you know especially if you're someone who's a free-to-play or a mid-game player who doesn't have all the silver in the world or the greatest gear you know it's going to be a little while before you can get into this but it is in-game content it's supposed to be a little bit more difficult um i just don't like the silver problem where i have to re-gear champions and you know pay so much silver to change out artifacts it's it's really aggravating so that's probably my number one gripe with this whole uh doom tower situation um also getting the secret room shards we'll see how that goes forward if they're going to switch up the champion shards being offered or if it's going to stay on the same uh for a little while i'm not quite sure how they're going to let that play out there but um anyways guys let me know down below how you did in the doom tower if you managed to progress that far uh if you managed to complete it either on normal or hard again we're talking mainly about normal here as i say all the time this this uh raid content on my channel is geared more toward early and mid game players more toward free to play players uh, you know, we don't have the best gear, the most silver, but we're going to try to do what we can and make the most of it. So that's what I try to help out with uh, for the most part. So like I said, let me know if you finished the Doom Tower. Let me know what champions you found helpful. Uh, and uh, we'll try it again here in a couple days and see how far we can progress uh, in round two. Anyways, guys, thank you as always for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time.